Did your husband know you were going? Not always. He, he goes to sleep early, and, and sometimes I'm restless. Where did you go on these occasions? Oh, I'd take a walk by the lake or went to the bingo place. Maybe to the inn. You ever go to meet another man? No, I didn't. I never did that. You mean to say, Mrs. Mannion, a lovely woman like yourself, attractive to men, lonely, restless, that you never once... Objection, Your Honor. Witness has answered the question about other men. Counsel's now making a veiled suggestion to the jury. I withdraw the question. Uh, now, Mrs. Mannion, on these occasional excursions into the night, did you always go and return home alone? Of course. But Mrs. Mannion, you testified that the reason you got into Barney Quill's car was because you were afraid to go home alone. Why were you so frightened on this particular night? I said that it was because he, he told me bears had been seen around. Was this the first time you'd heard that bears came around Thunder Bay to pick up scraps? No. Had you seen the bears before? Yes. Oh, this was just the first time you were afraid of them? No, I was always afraid of them. Oh, this was just the first time you were enough afraid to allow a, a man to take you home from one of your evening prowls. Objection. Use the word prowls meant to mislead the jury. Well, I apologize, Mrs. Mannion. <clears throat> I didn't mean to imply that you were a huntress. Was this the first time that you were enough afraid to allow a man to take you home from one of your evening walks? Well, it, it wasn't just that. It was... Oh, come now, Mrs. Mannion. You should be able to answer that straight off. That's a simple enough question. Your Honor, how can the witness answer straight off and the counsel keeps interrupting the answer? The witness seemed a little slow to me, Mr. Beagler. However, let her complete her answers before you interrupt. Of course, Your Honor. In any case, Mr. Beagler's objection has given Mrs. Mannion sufficient time to think of an answer to my question. You've thought of one, haven't you, Mrs. Mannion? What I was going to say was that I didn't want to offend Mr. Quill by making him think that I was afraid of him or didn't like him. He'd been very pleasant to my husband and me when we'd been in his bar. That's very good, Mrs. Mannion. Very good indeed. Your Honor, please. The attorney for the people will reserve his comments for the argument. I will ask you this question, Mrs. Mannion. Was this the first time you had been in Barney Quill's car at night? Mrs. Mannion, did you hear the question? Yes, I heard. Yes, it was the first time. Would you raise your voice a little, Mrs. Mannion? I said it was the first time. 